In this video we're going to add or subtract tenths, hundredths and thousandths or basically mixed numbers that have tenths, hundredths and thousandths in them. Okay, So here's example 1, 2 and 3. So we'll start with example 1 and I've got 4 and 45 thousandths plus 1 and 2 tenths. Now let me ask you what do I need to multiply this by so that these denominators are the same? Because the first thing you gotta do is get the common denominator, right? Times it by what? 10 times what gives a thousand? 10 times how many? Uh, let's see. 10 times a hundred, right? Is a thousand? 10 hundred dollar bills would be a thousand dollars, right? I multiply the top by 100, right? So we've got 4 and 45 thousandths, and I guess we like to put them underneath each other at this point, right? Plus 1 and 2 times 100 is 200 thousandths. 10 times 100 is 1,000, okay? And I'll add the units, I get 5, I add the thousandths, I get 45 and 200 gives what? 245 thousandths. Okay. Which is as a decimal. What's this as a decimal, by the way? It is 5 point thousandths. 2, 4, 5. Right? What's this one as a decimal? 4 and 45 thousandths. It is four point what? Units, or sorry, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. I've got forty-five thousandths. So I should put the forty-five here, right? And a zero here. So it's four point zero four five, right? What's one and two tenths as a decimal? One point and tenths are here, so 1.2. So does that make sense that 1.2 and 4.045 would be 4 and 1 is 5 and then the 2 just uh, sits in here and there we go. So hopefully that will help you to visualize what, what decimals mean exactly. Okay, so how about this guy? 3 and 15 hundredths minus 2 and 35 thousandths. You've got to get a lowest common denominator first, right? So what do I multiply 100 by to get 1,000? 100 times what gives 1,000? 100 times 10, right? And the top multiplied by 10 as well. So I get um, 3 and 150 thousandths minus 2 and 35 thousandths. Okay, so go ahead and subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. What's 150 minus 35? Let's see. 150, 35, subtract. 10 minus 5, so that's a 4. That become carry a 1, or borrow a 1. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1, and 1. 115, right? So 1 and 115 thousandths. Write this as a decimal. Now, 1 point. 115 thousandths, so it'll be just 115, won't it? Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, right? Now, what is 3 and 15 hundredths as a decimal? It is three point hundredths, tenths, hundredths, one five, right? What is uh, two and thirty five thousandths as a decimal? Two point tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So if you get thirty five thousandths. It's got to be 3, 5, and you put a 0 here, don't you? So 3.15, and we're going to subtract 2.035, and that'll be 100 and f 
we could put a zero here for the thousand spot, right? So it'll be 150 minus 35 gives it 115, doesn't it? See that? 150 minus 35, 115, and the 3 minus 2 is 1. Yep, so that's what we're going to do next anyway in the next lesson. Okay, so how about this guy? Example 3, you got 2 and a tenth plus 1 and 3 hundredths plus 4 and 148 thousandths. So the first thing we gotta do is get lowest common denominators all over the place. So, um, well, let's try and just. What are we gonna do for this and this? Make the make these common denominators. Ten hundred times what gives a thousand? Hundred times. Hundred times ten, isn't it? And what about the top? Ten as well, right? Yep. Okay, uh, so we've got thousands there. I guess I guess I could write that out. Um, one, this is a uh, thirty thousands, right? And um, okay, we'll just write this one out here: four and one hundred forty-eight thousands. And how about this guy? How do I turn him into a thousand on the bottom? Multiply it by. 10 times what gives a thousand? 10 times 100, right? And the top as well, right? Right? So we've got 1 times 100, that's 100. 10 times 100 is 1000. So 2 and 100 thousands plus this plus this plus this. Now you know what? We could just, okay, they're all thousands. Look, we could just add the units. 2 and 1 is 3, 3 and 4 is 7. And I've got 100. And I gotta add 30, and I gotta add 148, right? So 0, 0, 0, and 8, and this is 7, and then I got 2. So I got 7 and 2, 178 thousandths. Okay? Now let's write that as a decimal. 7 point what? <coughs> 7 point 2. Seven eight right because this is thousands so tenths hundreds thousands. How about two and a now write this one as these guys as uh, decimals starting with two and a tenth. What's that as a decimal? Two point one one tenth right. And I'm going to add um, one and three hundredths. How would you write that as a decimal? One and three hundredths. So it's got to be one point something, tenths, hundredths, right? Three hundredths, so it's going to be over here, and you got to have a zero for the tenth spot, right? Does that make sense? All right. And how about four and 148 thousandths? That's got to be four point what? Four point tenths, hundredths, thousandths, eight. Four one thousands, right? Four point one four eight. Now, if I want to add this, this, and this, just to kind of see what just happened there, like I could make them all have thousands uh, place place holders. So, like I could put a zero here if I want. So now I have thousands as well, right? And then I could put zero here for the hundreds, another zero for thousands. So basically, what I have is a hundred thousands. Oh, first of all, I have obviously I have. I hope you can see that you have um, two, one, and four. Two, one, and four. They add to give the seven. Okay, and then you have a hundred thousandths and thirty thousandths. Okay, and a hundred forty-eight thousandths. So a hundred thousandths, thirty thousandths, and a hundred forty-eight thousandths. And they had to give two hundred seventy-eight thousandths, don't they? And that is where the two seven eight comes from. So it's just I like it's just I think it's really good to see the connection between the decimals and the uh fractions that they represent, right?